Hi, I'm Jack Gerber, and I'd like to show you the retro style teardrop camping trailer that I design and build that I call the tiny trailer. The tiny trailer it comes with a anodized aluminum skin for that retro styling, just like the old Airstreams. Up on front comes with a Coleman steel belted ice chest and a tongue jack. It's got the aluminum trims on the corners. The trailer comes with two doors, powder coated fenders, real durable. Chrome rims and baby moons. Teardrop running lights. The tiny trailer comes with two doors. That way you don't have to crawl over your mate at night to get in and out of the trailer. The trailer has a maple interior with cherry trim. Some umbrella marine fabric. The inside of the trailer has maple plywood. Again it has the two doors with large windows. It's got two shelves in the back to put your gear at night. And it comes with a ventilation fan and a timer that pulls air in through the windows, out the fan, and then out the sides of the trailer. Inside the trailer, we also have two cigarette lighter plugs where you can plug in and charge your phone or your laptop. The shelves are a great place to put your gear at night, hold your magazines. Now, underneath the bunk, the cushions lift up, and we have a false floor. And this false floor lifts up and gives us additional storage. We put our fly rods and waders, our extra camping gear. Now this trailer, we always get asked, do you sleep in that thing? Well, I designed this trailer for myself, and I'm six foot two and a half inches. So the bed is six foot three, and it's really comfortable. I use the highest quality foam cushions that I can find. It's got a reading lamp. Now, the trailer comes with an insulated roof from this point here to the front. It has an inch and a quarter of styrofoam to keep it nice and warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Now on the back of a tiny trailer we've got a lift up hatch. Now this hatch lifts up. Let's turn the handle. Lifts right up. And then we've got our convenient camp kitchen. So really the tiny trailer is it's just a tent and a kitchen on wheels that can be towed behind any fuel-efficient car. I designed this tiny trailer to pull behind our Subaru Outback, and we had so much interest that we ended up making them full-time. Now, I was a custom cabinet shop owner for 30 years, and my father before me. I know cabinets, and this this, these tiny trailers are different than a lot of other teardrop trailers. You open this kitchen and you're ready to cook. You've got your, your utensil drawers. Look at that, VG fur on the inside of that. Cherry wood. It's not fake or vinyl like the Airstreams are nowadays. This is real wood. You've got your Full extension drawer guides. Look at the size of that drawer. It's bigger than a milk carton. You got two of those. Right here, you've got a door in the middle that opens up, and that's where we keep our RV deep cycle battery. Your car charges that battery while you're running. Underneath the trailer, we've got a spare tire. 
and we've got rear stabilizing jacks. I don't know if you noticed, the trailer comes with a two burner cooktop. Locks right in place. Got our Coleman two burner cooktop. See if I can open it one handed here. Actually, I'm just gonna, and it just sets right here, sets up. The tank hangs right off the side. Got your windscreens here, just like any old Coleman stove. You know, when we're camping, we have a lot of fun with our stove. Coleman makes a a camp oven. It's just a tin box that unfolds that we set up on top of the our cooktop. And Annie hits fresh muffins in the morning. Or I get cinnamon rolls. It's just great. So undo that latch. Slide it right back into place. Now, the tiny trailer comes with a plastic laminate countertop. And I import the wildest laminate I can find from Italy. To me, it's just like a birthday party. Now, we outfit these trailers with everything but the kitchen sink. We throw in a, a set of GSI dishes in the custom dish rack. We've got our, our light up here at the hatch. We've got our 12 volt plugs right there to charge our, our lanterns, our iPods, all our fun stuff. And this right here is the fan that pulls air out of the cabin, then vents them out these two side ports. These slide bolts are just to lock things up when you're traveling to keep your drawers from open. I'm really proud of the, the design I, I did on the tiny trailer's kitchen. A lot of my competitors I don't like the bad mouth competitors, and I'm not, because they all make real fine trailers. But you open up their hatch, and maybe you got to take the ice chest from here and set it to the side to even get into it. Now, an ice chest at this height, fully loaded, I don't know about you, but it's hard on my back, and it'd be really hard for Annie to get it out. And then one of the competitors that makes a real nice trailer after you move the ice chest, then the stove has to slide out of a slot to use. So I designed the tiny trailer for quick and easy access. We're in ferry lines, we open the hatch, we pull out the pull-out stove, we're cooking coffee, hot cereal. It's not open the hatch, move the table, slide the ice chest out, move the stove out just to cook a meal. We got everything right here, ready to go. I designed my kitchens just like a toolbox. And you know, it's only four steps near to the refrigerator. It's no big deal. And for me, I don't have to lift it on, lift it off. I'm traveling, I pull over, I open my ice chest, and I got a nice cold pop. So, if you have any questions about a tiny trailer, you can go to our website, www.tinytrailer.com. Give me a call, it's on, the, it's on the website. I'd love to make a tiny trailer for you. We find it's a, a fun, cool, real easy.